The iPhone 11 is a very interesting decision in 2023. Before you buy the iPhone 11, I'm asking you to think twice, watch this entire video, and you'll know the good, the bad, and everything that you need to know about the iPhone 11 in 2023. So what's most important for somebody buying an old iPhone is making sure that Apple's latest software is compatible with the iPhone that you want to buy. So with the iPhone 11, yes, it's still compatible with Apple's latest version, iOS 17. So you'll have all of its latest features. Something to take into consideration is that my guess, next year, Apple will discontinue the iPhone 11 with iOS 18. It's just pure speculation though. So let's start talking about the design. The iPhone 11 has rounded edges, making it kind of seem like an outdated design because what new iPhones tend to have is a more flat, flat edges, flat back um, design. The iPhone 11 does have these rounded edges, but if you don't mind them, you know, they're totally okay. In terms of cameras, you can see that the iPhone 11 has way smaller um, cameras than the iPhone 14 Pro. But overall, it's a very beautiful phone. But most importantly, and what I like about the iPhone 11, I'd even say better than the iPhone 14 Pro, is how comfortable the phone is to use. You see new iPhones such as the iPhone 14 Pro have this like frosted glass back, with the iPhone 11, it's just like pure glass and it doesn't make the iPhone slippery. So it makes it a really good phone to use without a case on because as you can see, it doesn't even fall. It just sticks to my hand. It's just overall a very comfortable phone to use once again. In terms of the display, this is a 6.1 inch LCD display. So a fairly decent um, display in terms of size. You can watch a bunch of content with it and it won't feel cramped. And yes, it is an LCD display. Comparing it to new iPhone models, which most of them have an OLED display, if you compare them side by side, you will find a big, big difference because first off, the blacks will be very black and the whites will be very white on newer iPhone models. The whites over here kind of have a more darker tone and they aren't completely white. So when you look at the display, it kind of feels a little bit outdated. It is by no means bad. I mean, if you compare them side by side with the newer iPhone, it is a very big difference and you will probably find the display a little bit outdated. But something good and something very positive about this phone is the nits of brightness. I just made a video talking about the iPhone XR in 2023 and if I recommended it. And one of the things that I just really bad about this phone in 2023 is the brightness. It's got like 300 nits of brightness. This, compared to newer iPhones, sure, it's a little bit lower, but it's still very decent in 2023. It's actually got 625 nits of brightness. So this means when you're out in a very sunny day, the display won't feel that dark. You will still be able to see all of your text messages and you'll still be able to use your phone out and outdoors. In terms of the speed, how does the iPhone hold up over the years? Now this has the A13 Bionic chip and i gotta say i am surprised on how well this iphone still runs everything is extremely smooth it doesn't matter if you're using basic apps like instagram facetime email twitter it doesn't matter if you're playing basic games on it it doesn't matter even if you're playing extensive games with the iphone 11. it does overheat a little bit whenever you are playing games but that's like most of um, iphones either way but yeah, I'm surprised on how well it actually runs. And it's by far the best thing about this iPhone in 2023. It just feels so smooth. The camera is still very impressive in 2023. You've got a dual lens setup. You've got an ultra wide camera and you've got a wide camera on, um, on the back, which actually have 12 megapixels. I'll show you photos now side by side, but as you can see, it holds up extremely well. And then on the front camera, you've also got 12 megapixels. And something that the iPhone 11 brought was wide selfies. You've got this tiny icon right here in the camera so you can actually get more people in the shop. Talking about cameras, the iPhone 11 has face ID to unlock your phone. It's not touch ID using your fingers, you use your face to unlock your iPhone. Face ID on the iPhone 11 makes using Apple Pay and actually unlocking your phone extremely easy and simple and it works extremely well. In terms of the battery life, I'd say that this is a weakness because it does not last you on day, and especially thinking of the fact that you will probably be end up buying this iPhone either used or refurbished, which means it won't have the best battery life either way. Good thing about it though is that it does have fast charging, so you will be able to fast charge your iPhone really quickly. So yeah, it doesn't last all day, especially if you're a heavy user of the iPhone. It will not last you all day with Apple's latest software updates. So that leaves us with the question of 
is the iPhone 11 worth it in 2023? Now here's the thing, you can buy an iPhone 11 for extremely cheap nowadays, and especially if you buy it used, you can probably pick up an iPhone 11 for around 300 to 250 US dollars, depending on where you buy it. So for $250 or for $300, yes, this iPhone 11 is extremely worth it in 2023. If you don't mind the battery life, and if you don't mind kind of the outdated design that it has, the rest, the display, the brightness, the cameras, there's a lot of things to really like about this phone. And also it comes in really, really fun colors. So yes, my answer is yes. But something that you might also consider for even cheaper is the iPhone XR in 2023. So if you wanna know if that's worth it or not, you can tap this video right here, or you can subscribe to the channel if I helped you out. Drop a like and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.